Okay, sorry about the bright shining light there, but uh, I gotta have light and that's where it's at. So, anyway, um, so today I changed the picture on my Facebook um, and on my Instagram, the profile pictures and um, of me dressed as I am today um, and um, I knew that that was going to spark some questions and I get questions um, almost daily um, if I'm out of the truck much about covering my head um, especially from people who knew me before I started covering my head and now they see me again and my head's covered or like they don't recognize me because my head's covered and so I have been intending to do a video about it and decided that today would be the day I would do it. Um, me covering my head started um, slowly. Several years ago, um, I went to a church in Arizona. Um, I wanted to go to Mass and I went to a mass in Arizona and the church I went to um, was a pre um, Vatican II conference whatever pre 1963 um, church so they did the mass in Latin and um, the women covered their heads and they had extra head coverings there and um, so of course I covered my head um, and I noticed that I felt more um, I seemed to feel more um, focused in the in the church and so I started covering my head for mass and just to see how it felt, if it continued to make me feel more, you know, let me feel more focused and more centered on the mass. And I found that for me it did. Um, and then I started wearing my head covering um, to say my prayers. Um, and... then I started wearing a head covering um, like my scarves or whatever wrapped around my head or a hat or something um, when I was having a bad hair day and I noticed even when I was when I was wearing it for that reason and not necessarily for a religious reason I still felt calmer or more at peace and um, so about um, about two maybe yeah probably about two months ago maybe a little more I started talking to my husband about it and um, asked him if he would feel uncomfortable with me having my head covered all the time um, because you know I don't want to make him uncomfortable or whatever and um, he said that it wouldn't matter to him that it was my head so if I wanted to cover it cover it and so then I started praying about it in earnest and about two months ago I started covering my head. You'll notice that in any little videos I did on Instagram or whatever, um, I had, 
usually a stocking cap or something on my head um, and it's because I what the stocking cap was just easier at the time because that way I didn't have to explain anything or talk about it in case I changed my mind or what have you um, and decided not to do it but um, it has become very much a part of me um, to the point where in, if I'm at home you know if I'm with my husband um, or if I'm like on video chat with one of my friends um, there's well there's one or two of my friends that I would that I feel comfortable not being covered around um, and then of course my husband um, but for the most part I just feel more comfortable and more at peace and um, liberated I don't know if liberated is the right word but I feel stronger and empowered empowered is the word I was looking for um, with my head covering on and so that's why I've started wearing it I am not changing religions um, I am not Muslim I am Catholic for the most part I believe in uh, some of the Buddhist principles of um, you know doing no harm of um, you know being trying to be mindful things like that are also Christian customs but I um, also I believe in all paths to God I believe that you have to believe what you believe if you don't believe that that's fine this is not a religious debate um, and I personally follow Christ or try to um, anyway but I have found that for me wearing a head covering is appropriate it's not to stay warm or whatever and yes I did choose to wear a scarf um, and um, cap and stuff because I think it's it symbolizes that it's not just for me, it symbolizes that it's about who I am and not just, oh, hey, I want to put something on my head. Um, and I'm not trying to tell others that they should do this. I think that you should do what you feel comfortable doing for you. But I've had a lot of questions about why I'm doing it and so I kind of wanted to go over it here because this would be easy to let everybody know at once um, so yes I am Christ still Christian um, yes I plan to stay that way and um, but there are a lot of religions um, or even parts of Christianity um, where women cover their heads and I don't think that women should be forced to cover their heads I don't I think that um, it should be a personal choice and um, if it's not a personal choice then it's not a true commitment in my opinion if you are being forced to do something, it's you're not doing it because you're committed to that belief. You're doing it because somebody else tells you you have to or because you're afraid you're going to get hurt if you don't. And um, that's coercion. And I don't think coercion and religion have much... Um, I don't know what the word
word I'm looking for here is I don't think that coercion should have a place in religion I think that you should be able to have an intelligent conversation and decide for yourself what is right for you what is right for your family um, and that's you know I don't have a problem with children being raised you know to believe as their parents believed or being taught you know their parents beliefs um, or you know dressing a certain way or whatever um, because of their religious beliefs. I don't believe that's wrong. I believe that's you teaching your child what you believe to be the right way. I think it only becomes a problem when you ostracize your adult children for not following what you believe. But that's a whole other subject and I don't usually talk about that kind of stuff on my YouTube page. So, but you will be seeing me in head coverings from now on and so if you have any questions give me a message below or whatever um, and as for looking radical I don't care if I look radical to other people I don't mind if people think I mean if they think that I'm Muslim automatically if they ask I simply say no I'm not Muslim I'm Christian um, but I, um, don't think there's anything wrong with being radical. I believe there's something wrong with being violent, but believe what you want to believe and believe in who you want to believe in and be blessed upon your path and I hope you all have a happy new year